Alright, so it's not over yet. Because normally once we found the ring, it will be like over as in the case of Shisa's route. But here, it's not over yet. Yeah, it's not over yet. There's still We still have another obstacle to overcome, that is. Now the ring is missing, and we still need to find out what happened to Emily. Why did she look shocked? Yeah, when, you know, back at the room, why did her eye, yeah, why did she go into a state of shock back then? Yeah, so more obstacles to come. Emily was discharged from the hospital the next day. There was no, there were no concerns over her long-term symptoms, but she was still in shock and had locked herself up in her room. Wow, it's so, it's so serious. <coughs> she, she seems to be in a trauma from the looks of it. <laughs> no, it's not that, Shinami. <laughs> it's just something she saw. Yeah, I also didn't expect this, no. I expected it to be maybe be something like Shisa's root. But this actually was is a big twist. While the others talked about me, I looked through the recently developed photos. Yeah. Yeah. They were all shots of the interior of the ghost ship. I wonder if we can if we can pinpoint what is it what is it that Emily saw that made her shock, you know. <coughs> this is what Emily was looking at. There was the desk where she found the ring. Emily had looked at something placed on that desk. And whatever she had looked at, it had really freaked her out. Notebook? Huh? Not sure. Was there anyone who would know what it was? There was Emily, of course, but apart from her. Parents, this guy. Ah, oh, this is where this guy comes into play, isn't it? Wait, don't tell me this guy. Could this guy? But hold on. But Emily doesn't recognize this guy, right? Hmm. But could this guy be related? Hmm. Yeah, this is where this guy comes into the picture. Hmm. What? Ah. What's that? I scrambled out of my chair. I need to go check something out. Uh, uh, I need to check with that old man. Uh, he doesn't really look old, but <laughs> more like uncle, yeah. Middle age man, really. Oh, well, older man, yeah, I guess older man, but more like middle age man, yeah. But wait, please. <sighs> wait a sec, you must know something. I'm so I'm so panting here. <laughs> the older man, realizing he couldn't outrun me, stopped with his back to me as he tried to catch his breath. Sorry in advance if I'm wrong, but you're Emily's dad, aren't you? Yeah, but but wait, did he like? I don't quite remember. It, I think when actually come to think of it, yeah, I don't think he and Emily actually. Met each other before. I mean, not say met each other before, but I mean, throughout this whole playthrough so far, on this very island, the Ogasara Islands, we have actually never once seen uh, this guy like interact with Emily, did he? <laughs> yeah. Every time, whenever she, whenever he, whenever this guy appeared, he was always with either with Hiro Hiroki or with. Uh, Chisa, right? But never with Emily. Actually, to come to think of it, yeah. Now that I think back, he has never once appeared in front of Emily, right? Huh. So, but I, I, I kind of had a suspicion that it was, he, I mean, it was just earlier, just a while ago that I suspected that he could be Emily's dad, but I dismissed it, but turns out he really is Emily's dad, huh? He didn't reply right away, but turned to face me. So he really is Emily's dad. Wow, <laughs> interesting. Because so he was actually in this whole vision all along, but in Chisa's route, well, he didn't make an impact because <laughs> uh, he's not really that important in Chisa's route. I'm Hiroki Mizuno. Emily, Well, he's, she saw something. 
we had a small problem while diving yesterday. Nothing serious like decompression sickness, but she's gone into shock. Apparently it was brought on by something she saw down there. She hasn't been herself since. Don't know something on the desk. This. I said as I, as I handed him the photo. It showed the uh, room from the ghost ship. In this particular shot, you could see items on the desk like a notebook. You know what's on that desk, don't you? What's wrong with... What's wrong with that notebook? Hmm. Yeah, I think, I think it's confirmed that since he is the Emily's dad, right? It means the dad is the Japanese, then the mom is the man. I mean, we already knew this, but <laughs> I mean, to actually see Emily's dad, yeah, face to face, okay, yeah. We, we can 100% confirm that, yeah. <laughs> he is Japanese, yeah. What exactly is it? Oh, you wrote it to your wife? So is it a, like a good letter, but. Then why did Emily feel shocked? So there was one mystery solved. The next mystery is why was she shocked? Yeah. Was there anything in it that could have upset Emily? ただ。ただ。ただ。The older man's face was clouded in regret. I guess he hadn't thought his daughter would end up reading the letter some 16 years later at the bottom of the ocean. What was in that letter? What the heck? Oh my god! Serious? Another big, big twist! Wow! This kind of twist. Oh man, I never actually expected a twist like this. Seriously, shit. One twist after another, and especially in Emily's room. Yeah, that's why she is the main hero in this vision novel, right? What? So are you saying that Emily is not originally Japanese after all? She was already pregnant, pregnant probably with, not with a Japanese, right? Probably with a yeah, probably with you know another another Westerner. Um, but I mean, does that mean that Emily is not Japanese after all? That means she is full fledged American, but she she understands Japanese because of her adopted father, right? Or foster father for that matter. Uh, okay. Right. That must be what Emily saw. So the shocking factor was that like, yeah, it's not his true daughter. Rekindling her parents' love for each other and bringing her family back together. That goal had brought Emily to Okasawara to search for the ghost ship. What a time to find out that the man who raised her wasn't her real father. Mr. Shirase sat down on a nearby bench. Ah, I see. So it, this island is also has a special meaning for Emily because this is where uh, she and yeah, her father first met. Toji, Mazushikata, Watashiwa. Then this is something that, you know, Emily's father must really talk to Emily, you know. Yeah, it's a problem that they need to face eventually. They need to sort things out, right? And of course, Hiroki will be there too. Hiroki should actually encourage Emily's dad to talk to Emily right now. I mean like 16 years ago at that time, well, Emily by then was actually still a baby, right? I mean because now they are in high school, so high school will be around 16 years old, 17 years old, so yeah, either baby or not yet born, oh no wait, oh yeah, what am I saying, no, no when, is, I mean Shu, Shu Saku said earlier, right, <laughs> that 
yeah, he first met Emily's mother when she was pregnant. Pregnant with Emily, right? So, yeah. Oh. I see. I see. So, so is her fiance who had passed away. Ah, that's very sad. These islands were famous worldwide for dolphin watching. Kanojo,恋しい。一度は破れた私でしたが、どうしても諦めきれず、再び小笠原を訪れた機会に。so, but did she accept? Emily's mother must have stayed on the islands for quite some time. And even though he had been wary and had left the island when he came back, he took another chance on love. Emily was looking at the ring when she found the letter. Mr. Shia said, nodded. 彼女のために、なけなしの財産を叩いて用意した婚約指輪でした。と言っても、don't say that. Don't say it's worthless. It's all your savings, you know. He sounded a little embarrassed. I guess he went through some hard, some hard times when he was younger. それに彼女の指にはめる前に海に沈んでしまいました。The commercial yacht had run aground and eventually sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Since then, the ring had stayed undisturbed in that desk until ha Emily had found it. At least, she said yes, right? Hi. She did say yes, but yeah, I mean, eventually they both of them got married, yeah. Then why did, why did your, why did your wife want to like, like divorce you? Is it because you work too hard? Then it, she felt like you, you, you don't love her anymore, something like that. Then you need to explain things to her. Con, okay, so your days of marriage were the happiest days of your life. After hearing that, I couldn't help but ask. If you were so happy, why are you getting divorced now? What changed? Emily's dad looked slightly taken aback. He probably wasn't expecting me to ask so frankly, but well, <laughs> sometimes it's good to be frank. You lost faith? Why? Faith? Yeah, why? And little to your family. Yeah, I mean, you'll be working too hard, but you're also doing this for the sake of your family, right? That's why you you should have ex you could have explained things and all that, but it's still not too late. Oh. Yeah, you should have explained things and all that, but you said some very hurtful things. Why? Maybe due to stress and all that. Gisigisista Katekara, Shigotoni Ningekumuni Nari, Yokeni Kazoktono Mizoma Fukamaru Akushunkani. Ah, okay. That explains the current situation with his family. So it's like basically the bond, yeah, the ten, the stress and all that, strain and all that. So the bonds between. Yeah, the family, this family members, they yeah, start to break apart. Then that's why the strained relationship, and then now that's why Emily's mother wants to divorce him. It was hard to believe that things could have gone so wrong. But then again, no marriage was perfect. My parents had disagreements from time to time too. Well, every every pair of parents will have these disagreements from time to time. The most important thing is. How they are able to get back together after you know those arguments, those disagreements. I mean, you know, if a couple doesn't have disagreements, it's also bad, you know. Yeah, a couple will just like do their own things and all that, while actually sharing their problems with each other. That's not a healthy relationship. That's not a healthy marriage either, right? I guess living with someone, making a family with someone. 
and spending so many years together wasn't as simple as it seemed. It's not easy raising a family. <laughs> I have no experience raising a family, but I can definitely tell it's not easy. Did it remind you of the breakfast you ate when your wife prepared it for you? Where did that come from? Probably. Oh. It reminds you of your old self 16 years ago here in Ogasawara. Uh, well, I mean, this kind of thing yeah, does happen. That's why you need to, yeah, you don't work too hard, you know. Some, it's, it's important to have a healthy, uh, to have a balance, to have a work-life balance, basically. Yeah, don't just focus on work, you know. Must also focus on your family, your life. It's not too late. You can all still sit around that table for a meal. I'm sure Emily would enjoy that. Come on, let me take you to Emily. We are all good. Both of us, let's go talk to Emily right now. Mr. Shirase shook his head sadly. Why? Hey, come on now, you... You never know unless you try. Don't just... Don't, don't just give up now. But... I thought of Emily all alone in her room. That engagement ring was the whole reason she had come to Ogasawara. For her, that ring represented that one special item that had the potential to salvage everything she cared for. But now she lost it in the water. I wonder if we can still find that ring. And with that... And when she had finally found the one thing that could have saved her family, it had vanished somewhere in the deep ocean. Well, we just have to hope for a miracle or something like that. Hope for, for a miracle that we can somehow find the ring again. <laughs> you know? But I'm actually kind of surprised. What I'm really surprised is Emily's dad is actually here in Okasawara. <laughs> you see, the... He, like, anticipate in advance that Emily will be going to Ogasara, that's why he kind of, like, stalked her or something. <laughs> I don't know, but maybe, maybe also the fact that he knew that Emily is going to Ogasara makes him, like, okay, I'll follow her, secretly follow her, so as to, you know, reminisce the good old days and all that. Now all she had left was an even harsher reality. No, I need you to I, I, I need you to be there with Emily, okay? Need to be there for her. Sure? That was about the only thing I could say. And that was all I could do for her now. <sighs> why why is this so sad? This is even this route is even sadder than Chisa's route. Chisa's route was like pretty straightforward. It was interesting, but Emily's route really, really very, really sad. You know, totally unexpected. Yeah, and now we're somehow seeking Chisa's help. Hmm, who, what can she help out with? We need to get back to the ghost ship right now. Oh, we need to get the ring. Get back the ring. <laughs> to find the ring. If she dropped it in the room, it should still be there. Yeah, you know, totally. We need to hope. Miracle. You be my body. <laughs> I have one. You. I stared at Chisa. You know, so this is actually like the uh, very special because in Chisa's route, we get to dive with. Chisa, right? And then now in Emily's room, we get to dive with Chisa too! <laughs> Come on Chisa, don't... Please... Please... The ring is the only hope left, you know, to salvage my... Well, one thing is, make Emily happy again. Yeah, and all that. Come on. I'm begging you, Chisa. We can't let Emily live like this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah on the next ferry. No, her dad. <laughs> I nodded. After that, she was meeting up with her mom. 
Then who knew if I would ever see her again? <laughs> You're comparing her to a typhoon. <laughs> but if she lives like this, we'll all be left with nothing but bad memories of this summer. I don't want that. I can't let that happen. I don't give a damn. <laughs> as I'm, I won't, I won't shut up unless you're helping me, okay? Well, then help, help us out, Jinami. You know, just tell your parents that this is a special event, a special case. It is an emergency. What? So allowance is more important to you than friendship? I knew Shisa wasn't that shallow. Yeah, that too, you know. <laughs> Hey, Chinami, I'm begging you. Try to, try to help us so that both of us can go scuba diving and we, and at the same time we don't get caught. Does that mean you're in? She's outside. Yeah, you don't want it to end like this, right? So, come on, scuba dive with me. Relive our good old days again. <laughs> Thanks, Chisa! I threw my arms around her. <laughs> I always believed in you! Another <laughs> disturbance? <laughs> she's not a disturbance, she's a best buddy, okay? <laughs> So Emily actually did tell tell Hiroki herself that she's going back. No, we're gonna get the ring before you do. We're gonna find it, Emily. Don't you worry. Yeah, you won't find it again, but we will. <laughs> Nope. It will be that we will find it. See, even Machiko is telling you, you sure you want to edit this way? Okay, you just give up like this. Yeah. Yeah, you go, Machiko. This is the point where I support Machiko all the way. <laughs> yeah, what's the most important in an adventure, you know? Everything about adventure of a lifetime, all this. Is from Machiko. Yeah, she is sharing her wisdom, you know, about life is an adventure. それは何があっても全て受け入れる覚悟を持つことだ。Yeah. True, yes. But the, I guess, I think what she's going to say next is what, but what's most important is you don't give up. Because it's to live the adventure. <laughs> Life is an adventure. Jinse wa boken da. Yeah, always miss out on your yes, always miss out what's in front of your eyes, no what's right. Literally before your eyes. <laughs> yeah, 
。あんたは昔の私によく似てる。可愛らしくて賢い子だけど。Yeah, I know it much ago. Emily reminds you, reminds you know, you of yourself when you were young. ヒロキたちは無茶してなきゃいけない。No worry, we won't do anything stupid, okay? <laughs> you will find it. Now we go. The letter was on the desk. Just as MD had found it, still intact and readable. That was strange in and of itself. One would think the paper would have fallen apart years ago, but probably. One thing is that we did mention before that this room was like somehow well preserved. So, yeah, the, ghost, the same goes for the, 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 the letter, I guess. I mean, the box was also in one piece. <laughs> I mean the, the ring box. It was torn around the edges, but I could still read the words. And this father's words seemed to jump from the pitch. I want to raise this child you're carrying as my own. It was all there in one sentence. I looked around the desk for the ring. Yeah, she must have dropped it somewhere here. Yeah, if, because earlier I, I said before that she, if she had dropped while we were swimming up, Up to the to the back to the surface,、uh, then that would be a disaster. But I'm pretty sure she dropped it here, so it should be still be somewhere here. I hope. But there was no sign of it. No! So, what's that? Yeah, hi, she's back. Yeah, in your scuba diving suit. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. You? She's had been searching the corridor. I was really hoping we would be able to find the ring if we came back. I have been too naive. So it looks like the ship actually hasn't, be, haven't, hasn't sailed off yet. So that's because I think the typhoon hasn't come by yet. So that's a good thing, I guess. Damn it! Where did it go? I remembered Emily kicking up a cloud of dust when we were here last time. The ring could be buried below the layers of dust and dirt. It was, my chances of finding it were slim. And all those dust and dirt, yeah, it'll, be, it'll be much more difficult to find. Yeah, yeah she kicked up a cloud of dust, Emily. Even so, I sifted through the piles of dust on the cabin floor. Today was my last chance, yeah, because if we can't find it today, Emily will be going back. And then, you know, after the typhoon blew in tomorrow, the ghost ship would be taken away to some new location. Oh, so, Tomorrow the typhoon will blow it away, and then also tomorrow, Emily will go back, right? So that would mean the ghost ship will be totally lost <laughs> somewhere in the seas around Ogasawara. Hiroki. Oh, you found it? Yeah? Soro -soro But we have to find it! Lisa pointed to her watch. Whatever was left in the cylinders put a limit on our, on our time. Oh, we, so I guess we need to recharge first. Oh well, no, I can. I couldn't give up yet, not, not yet. Even if it means our oxygen is gonna run out. At least until the nick of time. Even if I couldn't find the ring, I wanted. No, I needed to bring something back to Emily. The letter, maybe? Huh? Oh, did you see it? My movements had disturbed the water in the cabin enough. To shift the letter on the desk a few inches. Oh, there's a second page? The letter is the second page? You mean the back page? Oh. It was still holding together for now, but the slightest touch could make it fall apart. Oh, so it's a two page letter? There's something else. Ah, that, that second page might just be the miracle. Hopefully. I had brought my camera in case I might need it, along with a special accessory. A special accessory? A macro lens and special frame. Wow, what timing! <laughs> nice way to bring a macro lens so as to zoom in on the, on the words, make sure it's sharp, and take a picture of it. With the macro lens, I will be able to take extreme close ups of very small subjects. I focused on the letter and took the shot. And then, what do you say? What do you read? I carefully peeled away the first page. To reveal what was left of the second. Looks like only one part is still legible. Okay. 
I pointed my camera at the laptop. Let me just take this one shot. Yeah, okay. It'd be dangerous to stay any longer. I followed Chisa's lead and we left the ghost ship. So we took a picture of it, right? Okay, what did he say? I'm curious now. Hopefully that will be the one. Even if we didn't find well we didn't manage to find the ring, but at least the second page is a uh, is still a glimmer of hope. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's still very sad right now though. We just have to hope that this second page is a glimmer of hope. Uh, yeah. The second page of the letter. The letter from Emily's dad. It might mean something. The waves were starting to get a bit rough. The sky was still clear, but it was becoming apparent that a storm was on the ring. Hey, did you find the ring? <laughs> I don't know if he, if he did. What is it? Oh, did Finn find the ring? Hey, what if Finn actually found the ring? You know, we need to pay heed to what she's, uh, Finn is saying. If Finn, see, Finn wants something, it has definitely has something to do with the ring. Finn was poking at the boat with his snout. Jesus tried to move him away. If he got too close, he could get hit by the propeller. What if the ring is actually in the boat? <laughs> Maybe that's what Finn is signaling? Is he thinking at? Maybe he sees something? Could be the ring! She stopped the engine to take a look. I turned my head in the same direction. Did you see something shiny just now? Yes, it's the ring! No, 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 I would like to believe that it's the ring. Come on. Finn has sharp eyes. We need to trust in Finn. No, she's like, you get out of the way. Come on! She's her? In swam away looking disappointed. If only we could understand what he was trying to tell us. Pisa started up the engine again and the outrigger took off across the water. Wait, come on! Come on! The ring's right there! It's right there! I guess. If you cheer her up, then I will. Well, does this? I, I don't think this analog camera allows you to like see the pictures in the camera itself, right? Yeah, it's not a digital camera. <laughs> yeah, you have to, you have to get it printed. Then Emily's going home tomorrow, and then nothing's going to be open tomorrow, unless we somehow find someone who can do it by today. Asate, the day after tomorrow. So Emily's not going back tomorrow. The day after tomorrow. That would be the day that Perry arrived to take Emily away from Ogasawara. Okay. At least she's not going back tomorrow. Oh come on now, the ring! Come on now! <laughs> the ring's right there! I, I'm pretty sure the ring's right there! Hi! Come on! <laughs> I know I'm freaking out right now, but come on, the ring's right there. 